Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today we're going to create a bootable USB of Server 2012 using Rufus. The first thing we have to do obviously is open Rufus. We'll then have to select a device that we use. I've got a 32 gig and a 16 gig connected and it's a 16 gig I want to install to. Leave the partition scheme and target system type to MBR partition the schema for BIOS and UFA. The file system is either FAT32, NTFS, UDF or XFAT. In this case I'm going to use FAT32. I'll leave the cluster size as it is, and I'm going to give it a new volume label, in this case, server 2K12. So I'm just going to type that in there just now. We'll select quick format. We'll create a bootable USB using a disk image, and we'll click on the little icon, and then select what we actually want to install. So in this case, Windows Server 2012, and we want it to be a standard Windows installation. So we'll select that. We'll also use create extended label, and just click start. It warns us that it's going to delete everything on the disk, but obviously we know this. So we can click OK just to continue. This is going to take a moment, so I'll speed this up and then I'll get back to you when it's actually been done. Okay, so as we can see, this is nearly finished. This whole process has taken roughly about 10 minutes. Just got a couple more minutes, a couple more seconds rather. And there we go, it's now finished. As you can see, it says ready down the bottom. So we can go down and we can click close. And then we can open up Windows Explorer. And then we can now scroll down and we can see we now have a G drive and it's marked as 2012 or 2K12 like we gave it. You can now place this into any system and boot installing server 2012. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching.